What's going on everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Today's going to be a product review. It's going to be on the Timney Glock Gen 5 Trigger Shoe. Before we get started, quick disclaimer here. Timney did send this off for me to do a review. I reached out to them and they were kind to of send one out. Greatly appreciate that. Again, this is for the Glock Gen 5. And it's just the Trigger Shoe itself. For anyone who is looking to change out just the Trigger Shoe itself, check out Timney Triggers. Let's dive down deeper and we'll see what all comes in the box and we'll go outside. Take a few shots and we'll go from there. All right, like I said, this is the Glock Gen 5 trigger shoe. Before we get started, make sure everything's clear. Nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magwell. So again, this is the Timmy Triggers Glock EFT5. There's the barcode. This is just the trigger shoe itself. No springs, no nothing else. But this is what you get inside the box, basically. You're gonna get some tools. I'll show you guys that in a bit here. Sticker, card, and installation instructions. Make sure you guys read this. There's a few different points in here I will point out for you guys. All right, so there is the trigger shoot itself. Took the gun apart, took literally two minutes at most. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do that. I won't be showing that, but this is what you'll be getting in the package. Basically just a trigger shoe and the bag of tools here. So this is all aluminum, which is really nice. It does maintain the safety blade here. That's pretty much to it. Basically you, you knock out your old trigger shoe. There's a pin holding it, knock that out, put this in. There's an Allen screw right there that you have to back out line up the hole on the trigger bar and the trigger shoe itself and then you screw everything back in. Now this is the most important part. If you look in the front here there's a little set screw and what that does is it changes the angle of the trigger shoe on the trigger bar. When I initially installed it into my Glock the trigger mechanism was not catching onto the frame so when I pushed in the sides the trigger would actually go inward. Now with the set screw, Timmy says that it is preset from the factory, but you can move it if you need to, to fit your gun. For me, I had to back it out a few turns and that solved the issue. And now this little safety blade here touches the bottom of the frame. So all is good. So what comes in the tool bag here? You get a little screwdriver, a little punch, and two little Allen screws. So there's a bigger one and a smaller one. So the bigger one here is used to attach the shoe onto the trigger bar itself. And then the super tiny one, I believe it's 0.05. This one is used to adjust the pitch or the angle of the trigger bar here so your trigger safety mechanism works. So if you're having issues like me with the trigger blade not working correctly, Take it all apart, unfortunately, you're gonna have to back out this little screw here a few turns, and it should sit a little farther forward, and the safety blade will work. So that is an important tip. I've seen a lot of videos and on forums that their trigger blade is not working, and they all come to a conclusion that the frame here is out of spec or it's not the right generation, etc. That could be the problem. You just back out the little screw there, make sure it does not come out all the way because it will interfere with how the way it sits in the frame itself just make sure it sits flush and your trigger shoe should work but that is all for the trigger shoe it's basically just shoot itself it's not going to mess with your safety mechanisms i did do a few drop tests with this in the past now it's not scientific but I did a few shoulder height drops and everything worked just fine but let's get this out to the range put a few shots through it see what i think all right made it outside hopefully you guys can see me let's do a few pulls for you guys Again, nothing in the mag. Gun is clear. The take up. Break. Reset. Break. Break. Just dry firing this. It does feel a lot better on the finger. The safety blade here does depress all the way into the trigger shoe so you won't get that safety blade feeling into your finger compared to the factory clock trigger. The sides on the 
true here or curved so you're not going to have any sharp edges it's really comfortable feeling again the safety blade does work so if you try to push on the sides it won't unless if you go from the middle and it goes put a few shots to this i'm gonna put about 50 rounds today for you guys to see my initial impressions on this First five shots through this, I really like it. I know it's only five shots, but I can tell it's gonna be a huge improvement over the factory trigger. I do like the flat face trigger. It does give you a little more surface area for you to press the trigger back. Trigger reset on this feels a little nicer. Not sure if it's just playing mind games, but it does feel a little bit more crisp. You can hear it a little bit better, but according to me, this is just the trigger shoot itself, so it's not gonna mess with any of the springs, any internals, nothing in the upper, nothing in the lower, just the trigger shoot itself. Put a few more rounds through this. Alright, so we're back here at 40 yards, gonna be shooting that plate right there. Five shots, just nice, slow, controlled shots. Just see if I can get some really good trigger work. Let's see how it goes. Two out of five ain't bad, so getting used to this trigger. Again, this is Timney trigger. Check them out. They've been in the business for over 70 years. Really good triggers, really good customer service. Let's do a few more shots here at 40 yards. So what are my final thoughts on this trigger? The only other trigger I have to compare this to is to this Tyrant CNC, as you guys saw in my previous video. Both triggers are good. I mean, both has its pros and cons. This one I like just a tad bit more just because of the rounded corners there on the trigger shoe. This is a little more comfortable on the finger, but the Tyrant CNC one is just as good. I was pretty skeptical at first when the trigger safety mechanism was not working. When I did this, the whole trigger would go inside the frame of the pistol until I backed out the little set screw and everything works. So check them out. This is a really good trigger shoe. If you're searching for an aftermarket trigger, check out Timney Triggers. Again, just want to say thanks for them for sending out. So would I recommend this trigger shoe? Yes, for $71, you cannot beat it. It's a little cheaper than the Tyrant CNC trigger, but it's around the $70, $75 mark, depending where you look. Again, this trigger shoe itself, so you won't be messing with the internals, not messing with the striker, safety plunger, no springs, no nothing. So you got that for peace of mind. I'm debating if I'm gonna carry this one or the Tyrant CNC. I'm gonna put a few more rounds through this and the Tyrant CNC trigger shoe itself. See which one I like more. If you guys have any questions, leave the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them. Until next time, be safe, everyone.